Hey everybody, The Real Deal here. I've got a blind box sampler for you today. I got a ton of cool uh, blind box stuff for Christmas and I thought I'd open it all up as one big video here. Uh, I got a sample of some stuff I'm familiar with and some stuff I'm not too familiar with, but most of it I know what this stuff is. So we're gonna check it out together. Um, I've got DC, uh, Disney Heroes, got Domu stuff, Android, all sorts of cool stuff here. So we're gonna check them out. I'm gonna start with this Minecraft minifigure. Uh, this is the uh, Obsidian Series 4. So, and uh, as you can see there, we've got uh, a bunch of different figures there. I'm hoping I get this skeleton with the pumpkin helmet. I think he looks pretty cool. Um, I don't really uh, want, like, oh, I like the zombie at the door, too. I would take that. So hopefully I'll get the zombie at the door, or I'll get the uh, skeleton with the pumpkin on his head. So let's take a look here. So, <clears throat> you collect these Minecraft figures? Tell me in the comments, who's your favorite? I like the monsters, as you can tell. Okay, so it is, this thing is really, really tiny. Let's see who we get. We're gonna get, oh, it doesn't look like it's the one I'm talking about. Who is this? Oh, it's a sheep. I got a sheep? Is that all I got? Oh, a sheared sheep. Okay. So it's a, Oh yeah, it's a sheared sheep. Obviously he doesn't have his, uh, his wool on there. Okay, well that's interesting. We got a cute little sheep there. All right. I would have preferred a zombie or something or the uh, the skeleton, but that's okay. I got a sheared sheep. All right. What are you going to do? Hopefully I get some cooler ones in these other ones that I have there. So sheared sheep, you stay there. All right. Now we've got this Disney Series 2 uh, foam keychain. So we've got a couple different things there. Uh, a couple different things, I mean. So uh, hopefully I'll get Jack Skellington. Now... Let's see, is he, doesn't say any rarity. I guess they're all the same rarity, I don't really know. Um, but let's see, let's see who I get. I'm hoping for Jack Skeleton. I like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's see. Oh, nice, I got Jack. Very, very cool. So good, all right. So at least the second one I pulled something I want there. Let's hope I have that luck continued on here. Um, Oh, and it looks like it comes, it's in cardboard, so you can't feel through the package and see which one it is. It's kind of smart, actually. So, all right, cool. I got Jack Skellington foam keychain there. Nice. Oh, these are these are cool. Um, these, I, I have to say, these Minecraft figures are pretty neat. They're small, they're simple. Um, they capture the essence of the game really well, the figures from the game really well. So even though it's a sheared sheep and not a zombie, it's still neat. Uh, these are really nice too. This is a nice Jack Skellington figure. Uh, I hesitate to put this on my keyring because it'll probably fall off and break and get ruined. So um, I'll probably just keep it separately there. But uh, it's a nice figure. So, so far so good. All right, we got Jack. Now, let's see, we'll do Hunger Games, we'll work, up to, we'll, we'll work our way up to the bigger stuff. Now, to be honest, I don't know too, too much about the Hunger Games. I've seen the first movie, um, it was good, you know, I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of it. Um, I didn't hate it or anything, I thought it was good. I'll have to see the other ones uh, eventually. So this guy, unless it tells me, I have no idea who this is. Nope. No idea. Uh, does it say? Nope, it just says made in China. <laughs> so, all right, guys, so tell me who this guy is. Uh, number two, I really don't know. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is probably the only thing in here I don't know too much about. I don't know too much about Hunger Games. He's not one of the ones listed on here. Uh, I do know Katniss and PETA. Um, so, there you go. Um, this figure's okay. A little cheap looking, honestly. Um, but I guess if you're a Hunger Games fan, it's cool to collect, but, um, uh, the face on these are really tiny, man. This is really small. Um, so, I prefer the bigger ones. I prefer, like, the Funko size stuff or Kid Robot or whatever. But, there you go. There's a Hunger Games character, whoever that is. Alright, so, now let's move on, uh, to the Unicorn series here. Um, I think this is a neat looking series. Uh, you've got all these different types of unicorns in there, so uh, I, I'm not necessarily a huge unicorn fan, but I do think these are cool designs here, so uh, let's see what the figure looks like. Check it out. 
So, all right, and this is series four, as you can see. So, I guess there's a ton of these out there. Uh, I like the packaging there. This is Tokidoki. Uh, I don't have too much Tokidoki stuff. I usually stick with Funko and Kid Robot and Titan, so I might have to start taking a look at some of this stuff. Um, see, now, that's really cool. That's, uh, it's very girly, um, but it's still pretty cool. You've got this strawberry unicorn there. So, uh, it's a nice figure, I have to say. I like the green tail. Um, makes sense for the strawberry there. I don't know, do they list the rarity or anything on these? No, I guess, I don't know if one's rarer than, uh, the other. This is not a toy, this is collectible art. Um, very cool. So, this, uh, will probably wind up in the hands of one of my nieces, uh, or my nephews, and they'll be playing with this thing. And I will never see it again, but that's okay. So there you go. There's my unicorn, my strawberry unicorn. All right. So, let's see. We'll save the superhero stuff. Uh, we'll save the we'll save the Funko stuff to last because that's the stuff I'm most looking forward to. There, um, we've got a Mufia latte, and this is also a Toki Doki figure. There, so uh, looks like this is cow based. We've got a unicorn, uh, and now we've got. Uh, I guess this is just dairy toys. Um, collect collect all of mozzarella's Mufia minions. So interesting. I love that it comes in a little milk carton. I think that's really funny. Um, low fat milk, 2%. So, mozzarella leads the Mufia. Um, milk is protect. Okay, let's see this is some crazy storyline there. Um, interesting. All right, so we open up our milk carton. And who do we get? I don't even know. Uh, I don't know, there's a little. So there's a bull and there's that little chocolate milk thing with the horns on his head. So those both look cool. Hopefully I'll get one of them. Let's see. Let's see who I get. <clears throat> Here we go. Open up already. How come I didn't bring scissors? Here we go. All right. Hey, cool. I got the little one with the horns on his head. Hey, so far so good. Um, so it's a chocolate milk cow thing but as a milk thing have you seen me little whale um it's a little milk carton with a i don't know what that's supposed to be a microphone what is that oh it's he's like a milk dispenser chocolate milk dispenser okay but i don't know it's cool looking i actually like this thing i love that it's got the little have you seen me thing on there so there's a missing baby whale i suppose also with the little horns on his head which is pretty funny so that's cool I like this little chocolate milk guy. So, there you go. That's my Mufia figure. My very first Mufia figure. Um, and so far, so good. I got the two that uh, I was saying I wanted. I didn't really say what unicorn I wanted. So, all right. So now we've got an Android figure here. I think these are really neat. Um, I definitely want to wind up getting more of these. I have had them before. Um, I'm hoping I get this one. Although he's one in, oh, he's one in 16, so it's probably one of the more common ones. Uh, or this cool looking guy, the gorilla guy. So, let's see, let's see who I get. Um, oh, and then you got a crazy question mark rarity, something with a hat on. So, all right, let's see here. Oh, it's got foam and everything in there. Okay, oh, and a piece of paper. See what that is. What is this? Oh, this is just like a little checklist type thing. Okay. It tells you Nexus Clear. Ooh, the, okay, it gives you the name of all the figures. Okay, so that's cool. So let's see who we get. Oh, nice! I am Bat a Thousand. I got one of the ones I wanted. So, very cool. Now let's see if we can find what his name is here. Where is he? He is this guy. He is the Professor Scully McRivet Head. So there you go, by Huck G. Uh, and he's 1 in 16. So this is a really neat looking figure. I like this a lot. So I just like the design of it. I think he's cool. Uh, I love that he's got his little suit on there with the vest. A uh, little Japanese symbol on his head there. So he's all a little scratched up on the back there. So cool. 
Cool looking figure. I like these Android figures a lot. I'll see about getting more of these. So, and tell me in the comments which of these you like the best. Which would you like to see me open more of? Maybe I can try to get a case of uh, whatever it is that you like. I did a case of these DC Superheroes ones, so you should check that out. I also did uh, full cases of these Scribble Knots figures too. So, you should check those out if you like it. So let's see which Scribble Knots figure I get here. Uh, let's see. Batman's always good. Uh, the Vampire Batman would be cool. Bizarro. Um, well, the Maxwell is Green Lantern. Those would be cool. But let's say if I was going to pick one, I want Vampire Batman. Let's see if I can actually pull that this time, too. If I'm that lucky. Nope. It's the Joker, but that's okay, because the Joker's awesome. And this is a very cool Joker figure. So there you go. And I love that... Oh, what is this? It comes with... Oh, there's a code. Uh, you can download Crisis of Imagination. Hey, whoever gets the code first gets it. There you go, because I'm probably not going to redeem it. So there you go. There's the code. Oh, my God. Everybody race to the computer. Uh, see if you can get whatever this is, the comic. There you go. All right, so that's the code there. Um, and let's open this up. This is this is one of the cool things about the Scribblenauts figures is they come on these bases here. So that's really nice. You don't have to worry about them falling over when you put them on your shelf because they stand. Well, of course, now Joker is going to prove me wrong because uh, he doesn't want to go on there. There you go. They stand up nicely on the base. So these Scribblenauts figures are cool. It's a shame I don't think they made any, but they made four series and then that was it. This was series one. So uh, be nice if they make more of these because I think they're really neat looking. And the Scribblenauts games are pretty fun. So there you go. All right. So now we're going to move on to the Funko Mystery Minis, which I know quite a bit about. I've done a lot of uh, unboxings of those. So let's start with, hmm, let's start with the Disney one and see who we get. Now, this is the Disney Heroes versus Villains, which makes perfect sense. It looks like they're all 1 in 12. Oh, yep, it says it right here. So I, let's see, I would love to get Jafar. That's who I want. Um, let's see if I can actually pull Jafar out of here. What do you know? I called it with Jack. I called it with my Android figure. Maybe I'll get lucky again and see who we get. Who is the Disney character? Uh, yeah, oh, it's, what's his name from Bugs Life? His name escapes me, but there you go. All right, well, he's cool too. I like Bugs Life. I like all the Pixar movies. So I can't really complain. It's not Jafar, but that's okay. Uh, we've got the slug guy whose name I don't remember because I saw the movie a long time ago. I don't remember your name, buddy, but that's cool. So, um, and it's neat. They all come with, uh, like if you look at the back there, uh, you know, there's a hero and a villain from each movie. You know, the, each villain has their corresponding hero from the movie. So that's neat. That's a cool look, looking set. Those I haven't got, I'll have to see if I can get those. Because if I get a case, you usually get the whole set of 12. So, and that's a nice looking figure. And he's, but, pff, really? <laughs> well, his head just popped off there. But other than that, it's a cool looking figure. Uh, it kind of snaps right back on, so no big deal. But, <laughs> what do you know? All right, so there's the bug from Bugs Life. Who, you can tell me in the comments what his name is. I forgot. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to save the DC Heroes one to the last, because that's the one I really am interested in. Now, these Domo figures are pretty cool looking, too. Um, I think, oh, one in 144. Who is that? Superman? Oh, Clark Kent with, like, his Superman thing opened. One in 72, Batman. Well, I'll tell you, I would love to get, I know he's one in 144, but that Superman with his, uh, or Clark Kent with his shirt open like that to reveal Superman would be pretty cool. I think the Two-Face one is, is pretty cool looking too. So, um, let's see what these look like. Um, after, wow, this is really sealed up here, man. They really don't want you to get into this Domu figure. And they really want to make me look foolish for not having scissors nearby. Which is like, 
totally should have done. Why did I not have scissors? There we go. I got it open. All right. So let's see who I get. Imagine this one random pack. I pull the one in 144 figure. That would be very cool. I would probably fall over. The odds of that happening, though, <laughs> the odds of that happening are about 1 in 144. So, okay. Uh, let's see. But I'd be happy if I get the two-faced one. Nope, got the flash. Okay, the flash is cool. So, it's all good. Oh, look, and he's in his little running position there, which is pretty funny. So, all right, flash is 2 and 24, so he's a common one. Um, but uh, I like it. Uh, I think it's interesting they did a whole Dumu set with these the DC characters. This is a cool looking figure. I like it. So there you go. Big hunk of plastic there. So I love the superheroes. I love DC. I love Marvel. So um, this is a set I'll probably look at getting to um, at some point. See if I can still get a case of these to unbox. So there you go. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you like it or you don't like it or you want to see more or you want to see less. There you go. All right. Now, the very last one, we've got the DC Superheroes Justice League set here. Couldn't get the words out. All right. So, of course, I would love to get uh, the White Lantern, White Lantern Batman or the Reverse Flash because those are the rare ones. Um, but I'll be happy with any of these, really. I love Martian Manhunter. So... Let's see. Oh, this is kind of open already. All right. So, who is it that I get? This is the last one that I'm opening today. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Who is the figure? Oh, I got Batman. Okay. You know what? That's fine, because Batman's cool. Um, I really do like Batman a lot. How can you go wrong with Batman? He's 1 in 12, so he's not a rare figure or anything like that, but he's Batman. So, he's awesome. And this is a really nice Batman figure. This is a nice set overall. So, you should check out my unboxing video of this set. Um, because they're really, really cool. I like them a lot. So, uh, so there you go. We got Batman. So, uh, there's your little blind box sampler. Tell me what you thought of these. Which ones did you like? Which ones didn't you like? Uh, do you want to see more of any particular one of these? You want me to try to get a case? Let me know. Um, I already have, like I said, Scribble Knots and DC cases up, so you should check those out. And like, subscribe, share, that would be cool. Check out my eBay page if you want to buy some of my extra stuff. Uh, I have a website, realdealonbox.com. And thank you so much for watching. Keep on collecting.